Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. In today's video we'll be comparing the MacBook Air M1 to the MacBook Pro 13 inch from 2015. The 2015 MacBook Pros are considered to be the very best of the Retina MacBook Pro lineup and after seven years is it finally time to get it replaced? Well stay tuned to find out. Let's start off by taking a physical tour around the machine. So let's start off with the MacBook Pro. In terms of I.O. we get some pretty nice SD card slot action and HDMI and two USB 3.0 ports. We also get MagSafe, two Thunderbolt 2 ports and the headphone jack. Let's put it down and take a look at the MacBook Air next, which is a lot more bland in terms of I.O. It is a much thinner and uh, it only really offers the very basic port array we've come to get used to, two Thunderbolt 4 ports, or USB 4 in this case, and a headphone jack. If you take a look at the physical dimensions of the machines, we can see that the MacBook Air is ever so slightly smaller while fitting in the same 13-inch laptop envelope. In terms of displays, the uh, machines are both very similar. They both feature 13-inch Retina displays with a resolution of 2560 by 1600 Both have very nice color accuracy, it's just that the MacBook Air has ever so slightly more features, like True Tone, uh, which add a little bit of a layer on top when uh, the lighting conditions are changing around you, should you so desire to enable it. But both are very bright and vibrant. If you take a look around the keyboard and trackpads, we see that the MacBook Air has a slightly larger trackpad. Both are Force Touch, and the keyboards are both chiclet style. There is, however, a distinct difference in feel between the MacBook Air and the MacBook Pro, the MacBook Air having quite a bit less travel in the keys. Both, however, are backlit and uh, are very nice to type on in general. I've recorded the following two clips so you can get a better idea of what uh, both keyboards sound like. The MacBook Air does sound and feel a little bit more tactile. And now we get to the part that really sets these two systems apart, and that is the overall performance. The MacBook Air M1 is definitely a lot more powerful than this dual-core i5 MacBook Pro ever was. Let's take a look at some benchmarks to see how they really stack up against each other. Our first benchmark is Geekbench 5, where the MacBook Pro really shows its age, with the MacBook Air M1 actually scoring as much in single-core as the MacBook Pro does in multi-core. The MacBook Air scores 1739 in single core, where the MacBook Pro only manages 725. And the MacBook Pro scores 1745 in multi core, where the MacBook Air does 7659. After seeing the devastation that is single core versus multi core on these Macs, I decided to skip the single core benchmark for Cinebench R23. Our scores are 1936 for the MacBook Pro versus 7688 for the MacBook Air M1. Definitely a very big difference in multi-core here again. Please also note in the footage that you're seeing right now how much slower the MacBook Pro is actually rendering the image. By the time it finishes one render, the MacBook Air has already done several. Next up is Unigine Valley to test the graphics chips in both these machines. The MacBook Air M1 obviously has the M1 chip with its 8 graphics cores, and the MacBook Pro has Iris 6100 graphics. You can see a difference in raw power on your screen right now. In terms of raw frame rates, this shows that the MacBook Pro can only do 19 FPS, where the MacBook Air M1 is able to do 76. Once again, a pretty good leap forward in uh, 7 years worth of development. Well, technically five. And last but not least, we have the Blackmagic Dick Speed Test to see how the SSDs in these machines compare. The MacBook Pro is able to do over a gigabyte worth of write and almost 1400 megabytes worth of read. The MacBook Air M1 can do almost two gigabytes write and almost three gigabytes read. Not quite as much of a difference as in the other tests. So what's the final verdict then? Is it finally time to replace your aging 2015 MacBook Pro? Well, I think it is now finally time to let it go. With the MacBook Air only costing $1000 versus the same configuration of the MacBook Pro that would have cost $1500 with 256GB of storage, 
I think the MacBook Air is a good leap forward in terms of performance. You're losing a little bit in terms of ports and connectivity, but other than that, it is just an overall much faster and newer machine that has way better battery life. It's good value for money if you've been holding out for this long. I hope you enjoyed this video, I thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.